Hi, I'm Michelle Estrada. I'm the proud principal here at Asperia High School. I'm excited for the opportunity to tell you about our current programs, our plans for next year, and the exciting opportunities we have for the students in our community. The home of the Scorpions is turning 30 this fall. As a longtime resident of Hesperia, I was here as a student when we opened our doors in 1984 with an enrollment of only 1,300 students. Returning as a teacher and later an administrator, I watched and maybe held my breath just a bit as we grew to nearly 4,000, added a second high school in the district, grew again to nearly 4,000, added a third high school in the district, and now have settled in to a fairly stable 2,000 students. As the first and original high school of Hesperia, and as the school I was proud to attend and proud to have my children attend, Scorpion Country offers tradition, character, and a warm, diverse culture, along with some truly amazing programs. One of the strengths of Asperia High School is that we offer a wide variety of courses in order to truly individualize each student's educational plan. From the traditional series of courses to specialized courses such as psychology, environmental issues, statistics, there's something for everyone. Our state-of-the-art science labs are home to a wide variety of courses and many advanced placement courses. And whether a student needs extra support or an extra challenge, we can provide. Our Freshman Honors ACE program was designed to give early college readiness through advanced classes and the opportunity to begin taking AP courses in the sophomore year. Our AVID program prepares students who might otherwise not have gone on to college to not only go to college, but to go with the tools they need to succeed. And while AVID is a powerful elective class for preparing students for college, we also have a wide variety of other electives to challenge students and prepare them for their futures. Engineering is a perfect example of a program that connects the core academics, such as physics, with the challenging career focus of robotics, design, and engineering. Our students are learning how to work in teams, create, and problem solve, and they are winning competitions across the region. Another exciting and successful emphasis at Asperia High School is communication through multimedia journalism with our amazing Sting newspaper and our very own live video broadcasting. In fact, this production is coming to you courtesy of our state-of-the-art, one-of-a-kind in the high desert broadcasting class. We are the only school around doing live video announcements from our own studio, complete with green screen and teleprompter. This is just one of the many ways that Asperia High School is leading the way and leveraging our students for success. Our ROP programs further enhance our multimedia offerings with graphic and web website design. Our website design students are working to redesign our own school website where other schools have their staff members create it. ROP also offers law enforcement, restaurant occupations, medical terminology, nursing, and manicuring, providing our students with applicable career skills. Our highly successful automotive program is offered both during the day and as an after-school ROP course. Our students can do a variety of maintenance and repairs, and in fact, they recently did the alignment on my car. Hesperia High School helps students to be college-ready through AVID and advanced placement courses, career ready through specialized electives, and we also work to develop creativity through award-winning music and arts programs. Our offerings include multiple choirs, vocal ensemble, black and gold regiment, our strings, jazz ensemble, sculpture, multiple levels of art, and a cutting edge photography program. The recent This Is Us photography project highlighted the wonderful and dedicated students and staff who make Hesperia High School a great place to be. Now we all know it takes more than great academic programs to engage teenagers in their education, so at Hesperia High School we also work to make sure there's something for everyone outside the classroom. With over 75 clubs, there's no excuse for students not finding a niche. Students get the chance to participate in events, plan activities, fundraise, and serve their community. The skills they gain from leading and serving will serve them well in their futures. And let's not ignore the need to be physically active and healthy. Scorpion Country is home to a multitude of sports and a tradition of sportsmanship and competition. Competing and winning are central to our sports programs, but being depended upon to contribute to a team and to follow through on commitments and learn self-discipline are also of tremendous value to our youth and something that they learn very well in our athletic programs. 
We watch our scholar athletes grow into amazing young adults, and we watch them head off to compete at the collegiate level. As you can see, we have a lot to offer for your students. For information and help in finding just the right educational and extracurricular programs, feel free to visit our counseling office, our college and career resource center, our activities office, or our athletic office. We are all here to help you help your student to be successful. While we are very proud at Asperia High School of our current programs and our current focus, we're also very excited at what the future holds as we make some changes and implement the new California state standards. The Hesperia Unified School District mission is to prepare today's students for tomorrow's world. At Asperia High School, our vision is to do this while providing a rigorous and relevant learning experience in a safe and supportive environment. And one of the phrases you're going to hear a lot as we transition to Common Core is the four C's. The four C's are the essential skills that will help prepare our students for the future. They are creativity, critical thinking, communication, and collaboration. These skills are important for current success in school and also for opening up future opportunities for our students. Now the new California state standards bring with them a shift some changes, some changes from within the classroom for how we teach, the connections that we make for our students, what we expect from our students, and thus how parents can best help and support students through the process. And so we've put together some examples for you. One of the shifts in the, in the new state standards is to use evidence and justification to support arguments. So not just to say, well, because, but to be able to refer back to a text and to dig in and give proof for why a student is providing a particular opinion or a particular statement. And so as parents, one of the things you can do is as a student is discussing just in a daily discussion, any, any topic than to ask, well, why? Well, how do you know that? And force them to just really think about where those opinions or those statements that they're making are coming from. Another shift is to read and write nonfiction. There's a lot more focus on the nonfiction. While we're still very much supporting novels and literature, we're also supporting the need to be able to understand informational text. And so in the home, just providing those opportunities to read informational, nonfiction text. And one of the shifts in the classroom is students are being required to work in teams, to collaborate, to contribute uh, to a project or to an activity. And at home, what this means is really encouraging our students to be a, a full contributor to a team effort so that they're never the one that the rest of the team is saying, okay, I had to carry more than my fair share of the weight, but just to really support them in being good members of a team. A few more of the shifts, students are being asked to research and to make evaluations while citing those sources. And so anytime that you have the opportunity to give them um, access to research, whether that's through the internet or at our local library, students are being asked to use technology on a regular basis for both studying and, and doing that research, but also for submitting assignments and for communicating with their teachers. And so do what you can to help students access and use technology. And we have technology here available at the school before hours, during lunch, and after hours. And again, our local library has a computer lab accessible to our students as well. Students are being asked to look at problems from a different perspective and to solve very difficult problems and to really struggle through that process in order to truly learn. And so as we up that rigor and up those expectations, just really supporting your students in those struggles and providing them the, um, the extra help that they need. 
Further shifts include writing in all subject areas. Now, I know when I was in school, if you said to me, write, well, I would assume I was in an English class. But these shifts in the standards require writing in math and in science and in social studies and, and even in our elective courses. And so really support your students as best you can as they're required to do that writing in those classes. We're also asking our students to apply their knowledge across disciplines so that they're using scientific facts in their math class and so help them as they struggle to see the connections between those subjects. And the last shift that we wanted to point out is the use of critical thinking. And really what this means is we're going to ask the open-ended questions. We're going to ask students to think through a problem and across the disciplines. And so really support them. And, and in this transition, it's going to mean providing them help or even access to tutoring, which we have several tutoring centers here on campus that are available for our students. With the new standards come new tests. So the CSTs, as we have known them in the past, are changing. And our tests are going to become adaptive. And so for this year, that shift is not happening fully and completely, but there will be some changes. This year, only our 10th graders will be testing. They'll be taking a life science test. They'll also, of course, still take their exit exam. Our 11th graders will be taking the EAP, which will give us some information on just how ready our students are for college. Next year, as the Smarter Balanced Assessment is transitioned in, all students in 11th grade will test in both language arts and math. And these tests will be computer adaptive. And then at that point, those results will be reported to parents, students, schools, and the district. Remember that education takes all of us. It takes you know, us here at the school. It takes you, the parents. It takes the entire community. It takes articulation with the colleges, the universities, and any technical training programs that we can provide access to for our students. Many things have changed, I know, since I was in school. Many things have changed as we've moved into the 21st century. And these, these changes are exciting, but also very demanding as we learn how to best meet the needs of our students.
Here at Asperia High School, we're really excited about the programs and opportunities that we already have for our students. And as a leadership team and an admin team, we've taken some time to really reflect on what are our strengths and what could we do to expand from those strengths to offer even more opportunities for our students. And in so doing, we've really um, taken to heart that our communications programs, our, our arts programs, our engineering programs are really what set us apart as a school. And so in the years to come, we have committed to making a, a concerted effort to have a school-wide focus on communication, collaboration, and the arts. In addition to this school-wide focus, we are looking to implement two academies next school year, and the first of which is a middle college academy. And the middle, middle college academy will be in conjunction with VVC. We will be offering college courses on campus during the school day for our students to attend, and they will be earning their high school credits and their college credits concurrently. And that means that they'll graduate from high school with a year or more of, high, of college done, and they'll have done that for free. In addition, we're going to start a, an Academy of Design and Engineering so that we can really build upon the great STEM program that we already have in place and provide a more targeted focus for our students who have an interest in the engineering area as a career um, or college field. So taking all of that together, we, we think that we are going to be able to offer an educational program second to none in our area for your students and all of the students of our community.